Hey, right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. I was out for a couple of days, but now I'm back. We're back in business and we're back just for the good news. Let's go over them right now. Seed field exam. So coming for us this week, our seven stars are finally showing up and we're gonna have the uh, Final Fantasy 8 characters joining us. But first, let's talk about the event and see what we can get. So we're gonna have a Friday, uh, oh, we're gonna have on Friday, sorry, a uh, King Mog event for Final Fantasy VIII and you'll be able to get a um, rare summon ticket when you uh, do the beginner's quest. Intermediate, you're gonna get some uh, triple tried cards. Uh, advanced quest, same thing. Pro quest, same thing, you're getting more cards. On the elite, you're gonna get 500 lapis. I was gonna say 500,000, that would be great. But 500 lapis. And on Legendary, you'll get 5,000 Triple Triad cards, which is going to be really good to get the rare summon tickets. Uh, let's see what we can get here. So, obviously, you'll be able to get the rare summon tickets, uh, the four-star summon tickets, and all this good stuff. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let's go over the equipment. This is really, really crazy. Uh, revolver, you'll be able to get a 125 attack two-handed sword. So, this is basically Squall's we uh, weapon. Uh, you'll be able to get it for free. So basically with uh, the amount of uh, cards you're going to be able to get. If you don't have the uh, revolving saw from uh, Conrad, this is a really, really good uh, sword to get. It's a two-handed weapon, but nonetheless, that 125 attack is really crazy. Uh, then you'll be able to get the uh, Galbadian Blade. It's a, whoa, it's a uh, 70 attack sword uh, with uh, Machine Killer, which is really, really good. So you'll get that extra 50% passive on the sword on machine so whenever you do uh you want to do big damage to machine this is one thing that you can actually bring to the party uh then galbadian helmet uh 40 defense 26 spirits uh not bad at all actually really really good thing to get and guys it's free stuff that you're getting so why not go for it uh as you're going to be able to go through the um the missions or let's say the levels you'll be able to find the golden bomb or the wedge and whenever you kill these guys, they're going to give you a little bit more currency for the uh, King Mog. And now, Demon Killer is effective, guys, and Man Eater. So take that in note. Uh, and now, this is the really cool part. Uh, so uh, our uh, base unit, 3 to 5 star, will give you 50% bonus. Our uh, 4 to 6 star will give you 75% uh, bonus. If you have Squalor Renoa, uh, 5 to 6 star, they'll give you 100% bonus. And if you have them 7 stars, they'll now give you a 200% bonus on the stuff that you're getting. Look at that. That looks so pretty under him. The little rainbow stuff. Oh, this is going to be a lot of work, guys, to get these guys 7 star. But uh, yeah, you guys can see right here. Squall, Renoa. They're showing up to the party. And it's our first FF8 units that we are getting. So, let's uh, change the thing. Featured summon. Right here, we're gonna go over their things real fast because, uh, you know, we gotta keep it going. We gotta keep it going. So, they're gonna come up in the step up banner almost like uh, the same way that Cloud and Elfrida and uh, Sephiroth and Leela came. So, step one, you'll get a 5% uh, 5 star Moogle with a 10% I don't know, 10 Trust Master Moogle for your characters. On uh, step two, you'll be guaranteed Zell. Step three, you'll get a random 5 star unit. On step four, you're getting that oh so beautiful 10% uh, five five star seven ticket, which nobody likes. But it's okay, we're getting that. And on step five, you're guaranteed Squall or Renoa. Uh, let's go over Squall real fast. Really high on defense, good attack, really good amount of HP. Uh, these are the seven star stats, so they're pretty crazy. Look how good this looks. Oh man, we see the little lion in the back. This is crazy. Uh, Super Trust Master, fill LB gauge each turn and boost LB damage. This is really cool. Not stackable. Is Trust Master basically Lionheart, a 150 attack, two-handed weapon, enables le uh, Legendary Beast, and Legendary Beast basically fills LB gauge each turn. So him, he's gonna be working a lot with his uh, LB gauge. Then his featured abilities, uh, Large Sword Mastery. Blasting zone deal partial and mitigated damage to all enemies and he's gonna get some global upgrades uh, Which are really really nice boost attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands So he's getting a true double hand passive and keen edge 
uh, deal partial and mitigated damage to one enemy. So that's for Squall. Number two, look how good that looks with the angel wings and all this stuff. Renoa, uh, 345 magic, which is really, really high. She's going to be an hybrid, uh, hybrid magic dealer, which uh, almost like uh, Fravia and uh, Veritas of the Light. So we're going to go over Super TMR. Winged Art, uh, Nullify Poison, basically resistance to all status ailments, 100%. And on top of that, she's going to be boost uh, Charm Resistance by 50% and boost Fire, Ice, Lightning and Wind Resistance by 60%. This thing is really, really good, especially if you're fighting a boss and you want to put that on uh, Magic AoE Cover Tank. That thing is no joke. 60% is really, really high. Uh, then a regular Trustmaster, Shooting Star. A uh, throwing weapon, 48 attack, magic 118, and HP 15%. This is also really, really nice. Uh, featured abilities, Ange uh, Angelo Tackle, damage one enemy, a power up with consecutive fuses, and she's getting a global upgrade. Sorceress of the Present, boost equipment magic when a single weapon is equipped in both hands, or when armed with two-handed weapons and enable triple to be used once at the start of turn. So if you guys wonder, triple is basically like a dual cast where you're going to be able to use uh, one ability three times in a row. So yeah, really, really strong. Then she has Apocalypse, uh, damage all enemies, and Junction, increase fill capacity of Burst Stones, LB Gauge, fill each turn and restore MP each turn. So that's really, really cool. And do I have to say, they look really, really good. Uh, we're gonna move on to Zell, 4 to 6 star. Attack 178, really high. He's gonna be like a monk. Uh, his Trustmaster is actually pretty good. Uh, Urguys, or whatever it's called. Attack 128, so it's a fist weapon. Enables auto bravery, boosts attack every single turn, that's what it does. Then he has GF, boost parameter, uh, parameters, parameters when setting a Nesper by 10%. Uh, Combat King Reader, boost attack by 30% when equipped with Fist, and attack 30%, just passive abilities. Then, we get the uh, 3 to 5 star, Ramira, she's a smasher, she just gets it down with the mace. Our Trust Master, uh, it's a basically bling necklace, so it's an accessory. Defense 15, Spirit 15, and HP 20%, which is really, really nice. Enables Passionate, boost LB Gauge, Fill Rate. Uh, so that thing is actually really, really nice. Then she has her featured abilities, Rush Assault, uh, Pretty Slugger, boost attack by 40% with equipped with a mace, and uh, reduce lightning resistance for all enemies. That's one of her moves. Uh, yeah, we're going to wait till we get more information of all the units, uh, especially tomorrow after maintenance. We'll get all the uh, data mine on all the characters, all their move, and all the good stuff. So this... Oh man, this is actually really, really nice. Seven stars are finally here, guys. You gotta be happy about that. So we're gonna go on the notices. So obviously, seven stars. Awakening unlock. This is really, really good. Look how pretty that looks. Lightning, you're gonna be irrelevant one more time. Uh, so I explained to you guys already in the previous video how oh, you're gonna get a seven star. Really simple. We're, whoa, whoa. We're gonna go over again. Uh, so let's say you have four or just two lightnings. One lightning, you're gonna keep it. The other one, you're gonna kind of transform her into that prism right here. Uh, the second you have that prism, that's your awakening material to go from six to seven stars. To do a seven star, you guys will need a dupe of the unit. So you guys can see right here, we're gonna take one unit, uh, the conversion menu uh, right here. So you wanna convert something, you click on it. That's gonna be when you go awaken unit, you click. Then you go conversion unit, you're going to convert that lightning into a prism. A Moogle is going to come out, so let's say that lightning at a 50% uh, or uh, Trustmaster is at 50%. The second you convert her into that prism, you're going to get that 50% Trustmaster Moogle and you're going to be able to feed it to get that Trustmaster if you want it. If not, you don't do it. And then that lightning will become the prism. When you, once you do it, you cannot bring that prism back into a lightning. So once you do that, it's over. She's always going to be a prism. And you're going to use that prism to wake up the lightning 6 star into a 7 star. So right here, they showed exactly. Uh, I think it's 3 million gills. So if you want to awaken that unit, make sure your gill is high. Mine is actually pretty low because uh, the Veritas were pretty expensive to awaken. But... It's going to cost you 3 million gil to awaken that unit from 6 to 7 star. And 
they're gonna take a lot of XP. So you basically go from level 101 to 120. It's gonna take a lot of XP. So whenever those Cactuars dunes and all that stuff is up, make sure you farm those Cactuars. Make a super Cactuar and feed her. Uh, feed it into your seven star to make it go up. Uh, also, we're gonna get the new super trust masters Which is looking really really good uh, Really simple if you guys want their super trust master Let's say you have your seven star lightning. She's gonna have her trust master and she's gonna have her super trust master The way you can bring the super trust master up only by feeding another dupe of the unit so you can give her trust moogles or stuff like that to bring up that super tmr it's not gonna work so let's say i have my seven star lightning right here and i have two five star lightnings i'm gonna feed uh, both of them into that one into the seven star and like that you're gonna get the super tmr of the lightning so if you give her only a fi um, one five star unit while well, she's gonna go up from zero to 50 and if you give her another five or six star lightning she's gonna go up from 50 to 100 if you do give her another seven star so let's say you have two seven star lightnings and you feed one into the other one well obviously you're gonna get the super tmr right off the bat but i wouldn't do that just feed the, the five star unit or the six star unit into the seven star to get the super tmr and uh, let's say you take example lightning while well, her super tmr i think it's the omega weapon or Omega Blade, and it's a 176 attack sword. So yeah, if you guys have four lightnings, you can get a really, really good sword. And we're gonna finish this video with uh, the units that you're gonna be able to awaken after maintenance on Thursday. So here's the list. We're, we're gonna see them right here. So you have Lightning, Dark Knight Cecil, uh, Lunet, Orlando. So if you guys have plenty of Orlando, that's gonna be good. Uh, Gilgamesh. Olive, which apparently is getting a really strong buff on the global version. So if you do have a lot of olives, that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, Dark Fina, not a bad unit. Well, she's going to be able to chain with uh, the Tornado and the Quake family. So as you, if you have plenty of her, well, she can become now a magic chainer, which is not that bad. Uh, Seabreeze Dark Fina, you'll be able to get Wilhelm, 7 star, Mary, 7 star, Ramza, for all of you guys who have like 28 Delitas, where you're going to be able to get a lot of Delitas and their 7 star version. So these are the units we're going to be able to get 7 star uh, after maintenance on uh, Thursday. I think I'll just do Lightning because uh, basically I don't have enough dupes of the other characters. I still don't have Olive. Maybe Dark Fina, but I want to keep maybe some guild for the future units that you're going to be able to awaken to a 7 star Woo! Are you guys excited about those news? I'm excited about those news. And uh, so let me know down below which one of these units is going to be the first one you're going to go into a 7 star. Guys, if you are new to this channel, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.